Yo, what is up guys, your boy Izukage here with part 3 of what if Deku had all for one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's begin. Guys, I almost forgot, I created a Discord server. Links will be in the description. You know, come join, check out, we can chat, and just have a good time. And yeah, enjoy the video. We left off with Deku encountering the hero killer Stain. He quickly hid behind a dumpster in the alleyway and heard Stain monologuing to himself you damn fake heroes you don't deserve that title all you do is you do this for fame and money and not actually helping civilians in need stain stepped into the hero's chest who was laying on the ground exhausted he spat in his face and drew for his sword as he was about to kill the hero he got blown away into a wall Stain brushed off the dirt and looked over to see a six foot tall guy dressed in all black with a mask on similar to, to all for ones. Stain, even though he was a strong fighter, he had heard many stories of this suited vigilante showing no mercy to villains. Stain began running and he looked back to see where the masked man was, but he was no longer there. Stain turned around to look in front of him and went face first into an invisible wall. He covered his now broken nose which was bleeding all over the ground and looked up to see the masked man. Before Stain could even react, he got a foot to the chest knocking him to the side of the dumpster. The masked man slowly walked up to the near dead hero killer. He saw him reach for him. Stain closed his eyes expecting death but got touched on the shoulder where some of the blood from his nose was. The masked man licked it then Stain's whole body locked up. Wait, what? This is my quirk. Izuku aka the masked man then captured the hero killer Stain and brought him to the gates of Yue. The next morning reports of the hero killer's capture spread out all around the news. Deku, knowing a lot of people would be watching the TV right now, decides to use this, use one of his more modern quirks, hijack. It allows him to hijack radio and TV frequencies. Now let's switch to UA, where Principal Nezu, Aizawa and All Might are watching the news from Nezu's office. They were discussing what they were going to do with the hero killer and this vigilante, the night demon. Then, the sound coming from the TV began to distort. The image began to shutter and black and white dots began appearing and reappearing on the screen. Then, they saw a dark room. In the middle stood what they thought at first was all for one. But upon closer inspection, All Might gritted his teeth. The Night Demon. Hello to the citizens of Mustafu Prefecture. I am the Night Demon, and last night I gave the heroes a little gift, one of their most wanted criminals. So since we're friends now, you don't get in my way, and I won't get in yours. And to all the villains watching, Stain got off easy. If I ever come across you, don't ever you consider yourself that lucky because my face will be the last thing you ever see again. Then the broadcast ended and switched back to the news. Nezu Aizawa and All Might didn't know what to think. On one hand, he must have a strong quirk and he's helping us capture villains. But on the other hand, he's a vigilante breaking the laws killing they decided to discuss this later and went to prepare for their upcoming classes a few hours later aizawa was in his class telling his students about the upcoming sports festival they all got excited and a day later class 1a 1b the support course and general studies students were all lined up inside the arena izuku was called up to say his speech and on his way up there, Monoma decided to stick his foot out to try to trip Izuku and embarrass him. But as he did, Monoma felt a sharp pain in his foot. 
he looked down to see multiple shallow cuts. And if you didn't catch it, Izuku used his wind manipulation to cut Monoma's foot. Not enough to draw blood, but it'll leave a scar. Izuku went on the stage and began to speak. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will be having a battle of not only our wits, but of our minds. But as the saying goes, the weak stay weak and the strong get stronger. That's why I will win. After his speech, the first stage was picked and it was an obstacle race. At the starting line, Bakugo stood right behind Deku and as the horn signaled the start of the race, Bakugo shot a massive explosion into Deku's back. But as the smoke cleared, he wasn't there. Then he heard, Whoa! A student with a teleportation quirk? Izuku Midoriya won the first round! So after waiting around 20 minutes, students began to file into the arena, drenched in sweat. Todoroki come in second, Bakugo third. In the cavalry battle, Izuku decides to go at it alone. He creates lightning clones similar to Naruto. For the whole race, he weaved and dodged attempts to capture his headband. And in the last 20 seconds of the game, everyone was exhausted waiting for the round to end. But Izuku got a maniacal grin on his face. He took 10 seconds to pick out the strongest fighters and in the last 5 seconds, a trail of lightning was left around the ring. Izuku had almost everyone's headband in his hand and these headbands belonged to who he deemed as the weakest and leaving everyone who fought the 1v1 in canon. The first match was Deku vs Shinso. Before the match, Deku walked up to Shinso with a big fake smile saying, I hope you do your best and don't hold back on me. Izuku grabbed Shinso's arm shaking it, but he quickly dragged it away, scoffed and walked off. Izuku's fake smile turned into a real one. Hmm, mind control, that's a handy quirk, Hitoshi Shinso. In the arena, Midnight started the fight and Shinso tried mind controlling Deku. Hey idiot, I bet you feel all high and mighty because, you're, because of your powerful quirk. Nah, I'm just built different. Shinso smiled, ha, got you, now walk out of the ring. But his smile quickly faded as Izuku wasn't listening to his commands. What, how, how are you? Now, now Shinso. You got your chance. Now you walk off the ring. Shinso's body locked up and unwillingly he walked outside the ring. After doing so, Shinso regained control of his body and turned around to question how he had his quirk. But he saw, but what he saw wasn't Izuku Midoriya. It was someone, no, something different. A monster? A devil? Lucifer himself. Shinso began trembling and Midnight ran over to him, touching his shoulder. Shinso jumped to see the scandalous hero and focused back on Izuku, who was back to his regular self, walking off the stage. Shinso asked Midnight a question and she fell under his mind control. Now he was even more confused. To the next match. Todoroki still launched a huge glacier at Cerro. Denki loses to Divine Hair Girl, aka Ibari Shiozaki. Yeah. Mei still uses Ida as a guinea pig to test her inventions. Ayama loses to Mina, Tetsu Tetsu, and Ejiro Tai. And Bakugo does Uraka even more dirty because he has an even bigger ego since Deku wasn't around. In Izuku versus Todoroki, it was a bit of a, it was way more of a one-sided fight with Izuku pounding Todoroki into the ground. Todoroki started to get his Vietnam flashbacks, AKA 
his abuse from his father, and his mom pouring boiling water into his fireside. Combined with his body starting to get frostbites from overuse of his outside, Todoroki flared up in flames causing Izuku to get some distance between them. Todoroki then launched his absolute zero attack towards Deku, who seemed a bit too calm with this massive blast of ice and fire coming towards him. Izuku just said under Izuku just said under his breath, full counter. He used a modified version of one of his shock recoil quirks to recoil projectile attacks, knocking the blast back towards Todoroki. Todoroki woke up in the infirmary, then felt some sloppy wet lips on his cheek. He turned to see Recovery Girl using her quirk on him, and she got a slight blush. Todoroki x Recovery Girl? I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Calm down. Okay, let me stop. So, the next round goes like cannon. It so the next rounds go like cannon. Ida beats Vine Hair, Tokoyami beats Mina, Bakugo beats Kirishima, Deku bodies Ida. He just outspeeds him, shocking Ida's whole family. Then Deku uses his water to clock Ida's engines, stopping him from using his quirk. Then uses his earth manipulation to wrap his entire arm in rocks. Then gut punches Ida, causing him to fall over onto the ground, unable to move. 2. Izuku vs Bakugo Bakugo started badmouthing Deku. Seems like you came all this way to lose. Don't worry, I'll put you in your place. <laughs> you really think you can lay a finger on me, Bakugo Katsuki? You're just a brute who relies on nothing but his quirk and doesn't work on what truly matters, the mind. I don't need to work on my mind when I'm kicking your ass. Bakugo began running towards Deku, but he was stopped. Bakugo began running towards Deku, but was stopped by an invisible barrier. Deku then used Earth to put a huge dome around himself and Bakugo, blocking the view of the crowd, because what he, he didn't because he didn't want to scar any children's watching. Deku made the invisible barrier around Bakugo even smaller. Now Bakugo, I'll show you how easy it is to break that weak mind of yours. Deku reached his hand through the barrier and touched Bakugo's head, simultaneously taking his quirk and sending a low voltage electric current through Bakugo causing him to fall over. Now lick my shoe like the dog you are. No, I won't. Bakugo shot up, thrusting his palm towards Deku, but nothing happened. Deku sent another electric current through Bakugo, but at a higher voltage this time. Bakugo began screaming, and the people in the arena were scared of what was going on in there. Now Bakugo... I said lick my shoe clean. Now Bakugo, I said lick my shoe clean. All you are is a dog that takes orders. Bakugo, still resisting, got another electric current through his body. Deku stepped on his head, putting his face into the dirt. I said clean my shoe, you mutt. Bakugo literally begins crying and started licking Deku's shoe clean. Good. Now be a good little dog and walk out of the ring and I'll consider giving you back your quirk. Bakugo got up still in tears and pain and a path opened through the earth dome letting him out. And as he stepped outside the ring he felt his quirk come back to him. At the pedestals where they received their medals, when All Might came to, up to Deku, he noticed something. A small beauty spot on his forehead. All Might began thinking about where he's seen this before. Then it hit him. 
the broadcast the other day with the night demon. He saw the same spot on his forehead. All Might looked right into Deku's face. Are you the night demon? Izuku's face paled as he had forgotten his one rule to himself. Only use his element manipulation so no one would get suspicious. Izuku began backing away but All Might grabbed him by the collar. No, you're coming with me, young man. They could punch All Might full force into the 1v1 arena. All the pro heroes rushed in to All Might's side, then they all turned to Izuku. A standoff with 27 pro heroes and one supposed hero in training. Who will win? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z.